candid in his disappointment in the defense mm -hmm. in general with the team. What do you think is going on? Yeah, I think we're, we're all disappointed as far as just keeping guys in front of us, moving our feet, blocking shots. There's just a lot of opportunities that we're seeing on film and a lot of things that we want to do the right thing. We're, we're putting a lot of effort in to do the right things, but then we get in the game and a lot of the work that we put in it just isn't showing as much as it should right now. I think that's the frustrating part is that it's such an emphasis for us. We're putting hours in, we're doing it in practice, then we get to the game and there's just lapses. So. It's frustrating, but it's not something that we can't work through. Like I said, it's going to be nice to have another another game on film to really look at exactly where we're messing up and just go back and try and get better at it. What's not translating from the film to practice, so to speak? I think it's it's easy to say that you can simulate certain things in practice as far as keeping guys in front, moving your feet, but then you get in a live game where there's other things going on. I mean, you're running down on the offensive end. you got to deal with that. Focusing on defense, and I think that's the biggest thing that – coach has been preaching is like forget about your offense like put that on me like that's going to work itself out like really focus on defense and what you need to do it makes the game easier but I think that's one thing is that we're just thinking too much about certain things and at the end of the day it's simple you just got to guard your man and, and then just play good team defense. Coach Kyle said that most freshmen coming out of high school really struggle with defense but that's something that you kind of had a hard time adjusting on you really have to stand up. Yeah, something that I had a hard time adjusting to just because the expectation is it's race. I mean, in high school, maybe you can trade baskets and you have more talent than guys, so you end up outscoring them out uh, from the course of the game. But when you're in college, you can't trade baskets because if the team's defending you, they're, they're stopping you from scoring, and then you're just letting them score at the other end. That's when games kind of become toss-ups and games are closer than they really should when you play certain teams. So. For us, it's just not expecting that we're going to be out talent and just outscore teams, but really just taking pride in, in, in defending. How surprising was it that uh, Tennessee State didn't shoot a lot of threes? It, they came into it averaging like 30 some three point shots a game. Yeah, it was something we were expecting for them to throw up a lot of threes, but at the end of the day, that was something that was a, a point of emphasis for us. All we can practice was taking away the threes and, and really forcing them to drive. So now I think the next step in our progression of defense is, okay, if we're going to take away the threes, you can close out, make them put it on the floor, but also move our feet and stay in front of them and then contest shots at the rim. So we made, we made improvements. I mean, we, we fixed a certain part of that, but we can't take step back step back in other, other parts of our defense. Yeah, the Tennessee State coach said that they, they plan to have to shoot threes. They wanted to hold the ball, move it around, and then try to drive on you guys to be. So. Uh, in particular, I wonder how that plays on your mind and team. It sounds like they, let's get away from what we do 